between Dennis, Garrett, and myself, we all have different styles. Garrett's just like kills the streets. He loves to just get up at like five in the afternoon and go ride street all night. The spinner wants to wake up, you know, drink a protein shake and go out there and kill it like all afternoon. Our different styles of riding makes us get along super good because we're such like polar opposites. He'll do one of his bar spin tricks, I'll do one of my tail tricks, and at the end we'll both pound each other, you know, oh good, that was sick, hell yeah, that was sick, all right, cool. When Spin sees us ride, he's like freaking out and we always see him do his crazy technical stuff, we're like, how can you do that? And then you freak out over us doing like a tuck no hand or something. Dennis is the most adaptive rider I've ever seen in my life. He could show up to any skate park, street spot, dirt spot in the world and look like he's been riding there for over a year. I do not know how he does it. He won dirt and now here he is in the park. Oh, wow. huge gap! He just goes absolutely huge 100% of the time. We all have a different style of ride, just the way we look at ramps, the way we ride, everything. If you put a ramp in front of us, most likely we're gonna totally look so different, doing different tricks, different styles. Garrett's gonna throw in the most. Dennis is gonna go the highest. And I might spin the most. Not many people have full ramp setups or trails in their backyard. Like when you're a little kid, like growing up, you're like, I wish I had ramps, and I'm lucky enough to have one, so. It's, it's an honor, it's crazy. I've only rode Dennis Henderson's backyard once. It's fast, it's got a nice spine. He's got a super cool mom and dad, a bunch of dogs. Super laid back situation. This is uh, the slant wall. It's one of my favorite things. You can blast out of it. It's usually where I start. Like, I'll either drop in from right here, right there, just cruise down. And hit the Spock jump. It's just as good backwards as forwards. Here's a nine foot quarter pipe. You blast this and then you cruise down this way. You can usually just fly over that thing. And we got the hip, like it's 90 degree hip, straight into a perfect street spine. Then the vert wall, it's brand new. You can go back over the spine. You got the wall ride slash sub box. Come back over the spine. Another like 45 degree hip into a left hip. And then back to the nine foot. Every year I want to add on like a like a pretty big new piece so the ramp grows like as we grow, like as our riding grows. He's reeling the crazy big things, sub boxes, sub rails. It's a circle, literally, and you can just keep going until you either pass out or you fall. So <laughs> it's good. Garrett's backyard setup's real tight and gnarly and like it looks so much fun. You can see his style of riding, like where it comes from, just because of his ramps are so crazy. Our ramps are a little beat up. They're a little janky. Uh, that's not a problem. I don't mind shady stuff. Keeps it interesting, keeps it fun. They got that nice sink pop. Sink in and pop out. It's real good, it's tight. Yeah, I never rode his backyard. The only time I went over it was pouring rain. He always says, like, you gotta come ride my yard. And I'm like, I wish, like, it was raining because you live in New Jersey, which sucks. <laughs> The ramps in my mom's house are pretty weathered. That sucks, but um, always try to salvage what we could out of our little town. Having something that's your own is the best because you have exactly what you want. You don't have to deal with anyone, you're just doing your own thing. Always friends riding, always just have a little session. It's in my backyard. <laughs> i never ridden in Spinner's backyard. Like, I just saw photos of him and stuff. It looks pretty crazy. You look through his backyard, then you look through his indoor swimming pool, then into his crazy dew tour course. So, he's got to be psyched with what he has, you know? I will wake up, go in my backyard, and look around for 20 minutes. It's pretty much a dream. You know, this is mine. From every screw put into this ramp to the foam blocks, you know? I do whatever I want. When's the sesh? When I tell you. <laughs> Garrett, he has what he wants. Dennis, same deal. It's sick, like all three of us went for what we want to ride.